Alright, welcome to another Discord League game. This one is going to be Crane versus Scorpion. Uh, Pushy Mushy versus Athusium. Uh, we have Cute and Kikita with Keeper of Air. It's some nice alliteration. And then Cute and Bayushi with Keeper of Earth. Uh, what do we have up here? Esteemed Tea House, Kikita Dojo, Kageyu, and Chancellor's Aid. So this is a new card from Clan War, it looks like. And this character leaves play. Each, each opponent may give you one honor. A chosen player discards one card from their hand. Okay, so this guy seems pretty good. Or girl. Looks like it's a female. Probably. Um, wait, two fate. Oh, he's going to disguise. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, and then on the Scorpion side, there's a Keeper Initiate. He plays a Fawning Diplomat and Vice Proprietor. This is another card from Clan War that is quite good. Uh, you dishonor him and your opponent has to bow a guy. Oh, wow. Uh, the Crane player is going to bid one here. That's surprising. So he's going to be up 10 honor, but he only has five cards. Uh, and I feel like this is actually a little bit worrying for Scorpion since he is running Kyuden Bayushi. But probably not going to be worried yet. Okay, so this is an Imperial deck, right? See, end of the Forbidden City. Ooh, there's a Regal Bearing. Ah, uh, that's... <laughs> okay. So that was a mistake. So, uh, we see From the Shadows for Sadako, Ornate Fan, uh, so From the Shadows with Sadako is a really good combo with Cute and Bayushi. Did he, bid away, did he bid one as counter player? Is that his normal strategy? I don't know. I'm not sure if he knows his opponent is running uh, Regal Bearing, but either way, it seems kind of questionable. Um, oh, we're waiting on the ability. That's what's happening. He does get a Keeper Initiate as well. Okay. So, I should continue saying he then, I guess. Oh, you meant isn't? So I should stop saying he. Um, Kyuren Bayushi going to ready Sadako. Saw a scavenger get discarded. Is a dude. He was saying yes to me, okay. All right, um, yeah, I, I should, I should just say they slash them more, but I feel like that's one of the, I was actually just talking about that earlier today. That's one of those things where if you're just like not thinking about it, you just say he, because, you know, most of the people who play this game are 
key. So it's kind of just easy to forget that they might not be. Um, <laughs> that's true. Uh, let's see what's happening. Kakita Dojo, so you can honor. Force shame to bow Sadako. Forge edict canceled the force shame. So Scorpion got that airing, gaining two honor. Oh, and then the two dishonored characters left, so it's still at five. Yeah, so we're definitely going to be seeing one bids now, which means these regal bearings are going to be turned off. Um, well, Scorpion will bid one, right? I don't know if Crane will bid one. Um, only having two cards is a little bit not good. I think this is some kind of like hand denial deck, though. What does this do? Okay, well that's good. Um, so this is like pseudo card draw. Oh yeah, we saw a favorable allowance as well. Or favorable alliance. Uh, that sets aside cards. Hold on, let me scroll back up. Did he play that? I don't see that in chat anywhere. Oh, I got discarded with everything? Okay. Yeah, so definitely a bid one. Uh, hand Denial deck. We have the Masterpiece Painter as well to sort of draw cards. Scorpion is going to be fine with cards, though. We see a Two-Fate Alibi Artist here. Um, so the only thing to worry about is Honor. And as you would expect with a Hand Control deck, we're going to see the Earth Ring. Uh, finds shameful display though. That's not what you want to see. Keeper initiate is going to be able to defend this, and this is military, so three to one. Uh, he does still have the Kakita Dojo, so you could duel and honor. No reason not to do that. Probably, unless you're going to play a conflict character later, I guess. Aftershocks, like Earthquakes. Needs to trigger Painter's ability. Yeah, that's true. Um... Oh, it's just right here. It's backhanded compliment. Okay. Uh, you could actually play that on yourself to cycle here, but that means that you have one less backhanded in your deck. So, I mean, that's not bad, right? It's basically a free card draw. Uh, Into the Forbidden City is pretty blank here, right? Like, I don't think Scorpion is going to ever have an attachment on an attacking character, so you can just attack this forever. Uh, court games to honor... Maybe Tessens? Yeah, I guess. Uh, discarding a Tessen you don't really care about too much, though. And if you do, you can just not attack that. Vice Proprietor, is that? That's just any conflict, wow, okay. That's pretty good. Um, so he is gonna get that Voidering there. We do see a political rival. So 
So political rival can go, what do you do, fire? Air, okay. Um, so, I mean, the problem I have with air here is that it has no fate on it, so that means your opponent can take one of these one fate rings and then next turn go for the other one, which will then have two fate. Uh, going back, it's shameful. Alibi artist gets used. Oh, it's three to three because the stronghold gave it plus one. And we see a court games. Okay, so he's actually going to be winning on defense now. And we see a pass from Crane. Um, I'm kind of wondering about the one fate on political rival. I feel like usually you want to put at least two on it. And there's two fate in the fate pool, so kind of wondering what stopped him from putting an extra fate on that. Um, Scorpion's going to pass that attack. Interesting. Oh, wait, did he have a military left? Okay, so he had to pass. Oh, what is this card? I forget what this does. Okay, that's actually not terrible here, I guess. He doesn't have any Dishonored characters right now, though, but with the Vice Proprietor, that seems decent. Uh, Paragon of Grace, always a good card and fits into this deck very nicely. We have Dazzling Duelist here. Just a nice card to have with Cute and Kikita, I think. And a Caravan Guard. So, Watering seems pretty good here. You can go Military, Water. Well... Yeah, I mean, it forces him to defend it, at least. I think you do fire, huh? I mean, your opponent can't really use water against you here, so I guess it's fine to leave that there. Uh, you can potentially go fire here and then go water in your second conflict, and maybe the rival's still standing, or the Miyako is. Uh, but you're using up your military, so if the rival is still standing, then attacking political against it, he can just defend. But you do get the two fate, so I guess it works out. Um, we see a defense with the caravan guard. So one thing I have to sort of wonder is what the Scorpion's win con is right now, because... Your opponent has 16 honor, and you don't have city, so you're pretty much never going to dishonor them, especially since they're playing a deck that just bid one, bids one for the whole game. So I think you just you have to break provinces, right? Uh, we see a way of the scorpion that lets Takao move home. This guy's duel dishonors the winner and bows the loser. Okay, so just going to take the win there. Dishonor's Paragon of Grace, that's quite good. Unless, well, your opponent has two cards in hand, so you're probably not too worried about uh, potential... What's that card called? Soul Beyond Approach? Although, he is air roll, so might be in the deck. Um... Yeah, I mean, you need to start breaking, but I don't know. Maybe you have to wait till next turn when some of these characters start to leave play on Crane's side, like the political rival. Uh, political rival attacking water, okay. I guess water is not completely useless here since your caravan guard is bowed. And we're just going to see that vice proprietor bow it. Man, that card is good. And he gets to draw from Fertile Fields. 
and he can even discard that status token now. You want to cute and Bayushi first and then do it, but seems good. Like, this card is actually kind of a good combo with the Vice Proprietor. I don't know if that makes it worth running, but... Um, Alibi Artist attacks Earth, sure. Paragon of Grace going to discard from the Shadows. Yeah, if you're running Aramoro as well, then I can definitely see it. You have the Illusionist also to discard status tokens. Way of the Crane to honor the Paragon of Grace, but Censure is going to cancel that. Okay. You actually, you can't Kikita Dojo here. Okay, we're going to see a backhanded to cycle. That was the one that was revealed last turn, right? Yeah, so I think I think the correct play was actually to just use that to cycle when it was on top of your deck because then it actually draws you a card whereas now it's just going to uh cycle and wow, the Earthring discards the card that was drawn there, which was a bonsai. So Crane has zero cards in hand now. Which, I mean, is never where you want to be. Uh, there's the Court of Deception after readying with the Stronghold. Miyako going to attack. Probably Void, right? Oh no, Air? Okay. I feel like Void is important here because... Your opponent is now going to get to void off your caravan guard, which will uh, swing the board advantage to Scorpion even more, uh, or not. Wait, was that the last conflict? Okay. For some reason I thought he had one more conflict. So I take back what I said. We see another Vice Proprietor. Brash Samurai, Season of War, Soshi Illusionist. So, just gonna buy out all their characters pretty much. Crane gets Passing Fate. Yeah, that's true. That's uh, what I was thinking about is Crane now has the first conflict, so there's this one Fate Void Ring available. So going air probably was the better choice last round, given that. Since I think you want to go Void here, whoa. Okay, so I think, I think, I think Scorpion expected Crane to bid 5 there. <laughs> but that was not what happened. I mean, he's not dead. He has two honor, and he can attack. Um, like, you're 12 cards to one, right? So, yeah, you should be fine. You can attack air here. Unless Crane goes air, I guess, but even then, you don't really care. Like, with one card in hand, play duty already? No, we didn't see duty yet. Well, maybe. I mean, yeah, it's definitely not surprising if duty's in the hand. Um... Okay, so we're going to take the air ring off the table. You definitely have to defend this. That does mean your opponent can go void, though. Is 
We see six on the defense. So the nice thing about being Scorpion right now is that your opponent has one card in hand. So you can pretty much uh, tell what's going to happen in these conflicts based on what's on the board. Fertile Fields draws a card. Dazzling Duelist is going to duel. Obviously they both bid one. And then we get the Honor. So this is maybe a little bit scary for Scorpion. See, Court Game is going to Dishonor the Whisper, I imagine. Yeah, you can Kikita Dojo now. Oh, I Dishonor the Duelist? Hmm. Interesting. I guess Duelist can re-honor himself next turn, but... I don't know. Doesn't matter, I guess. Oh. Yeah, no, you cannot target Alibi Artist. Yeah, I mean, what should happen here is they just both bid one. Which means that the illusionist gets bowed. And Crane will be winning. So Scorpion will go down to one honor with no airing on the table, which is pretty scary. Um, the chance of the one card in hand being backhanded complement is... 1 in 30, or no, 2 in 33, right? Because we've seen 1. Which is pretty low, so... Scorpion has 12 cards, though, so let's see if he can win this conflict. Obviously, you can't assassinate, but... For shame, okay. It's two skill. If he has duty, then the backhanded doesn't matter. That's true. Uh, he can use his illusionist to discard the honor token here. Likely has censure as well. Yeah, probably. For shame, uh, just gonna choose to bow there. So maybe you should have foreshamed the duelist first to trick him into uh, dishonoring it. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter, obviously, but it means he's not dead if it is a backhanded. But yeah, he's just going to win that conflict. That's what happens generally when you have 12 cards and your opponent has one. And... Oh, wait. The air ring bounced? Is this guy a can't claim rings? Oh, it is can't claim rings. Wow. So that, that actually worked out in favor of the Scorpion player. Yeah, I thought it was can't resolve ring effects. Uh, but that means that the air ring is still going to be on the table now. He is going to go void instead, though, which is also good. Rash Samurai going to defend. And we see a duel here. So the winner, I always forget what it is. Winner gets dishonored, loser bows. Oh, we see a duty on that duel. Interesting. Uh, to bow the brash samurai, so I mean that's one way to use duty, I guess. Um, 
So he does get the break on into the Forbidden City there, as well as the Void Ring. And Duty does gain an honor, so he's at three now, which seems pretty safe. And then he also gets to ready his character because he's dishonored now. So yeah, that seems pretty good. <laughs> it's it's a little bit of a madman play, but you know. So Paragon of Grace attacking water here. If he went for air in the first conflict, well, your opponent's at three now, I guess. Yeah, probably earth or air. Earth, even, I, th I would say, is better. Um, the problem with Crane attacking here is that you keep give, giving Scorpion province effects, like... The Fertile Fields just lets him keep drawing cards, whereas... Um, into the Forbidden City didn't really do anything there. Yeah, like his win con right now is breaking provinces, so... You gotta spend your cards to break the provinces. Paragon of Grace discards Regal Bearing, okay. That's fine. And it looks like it's just going to be a win on defense. So he at least... Oh, he did choose the air ring. So he does at least take the air ring off the table. Uh, Scorpion can go earth now, though. He should also use his... What is it called? Court of Deception at some point. So, do you just smash Vassal Fields here, or do you go face down? Probably need to play a card either way, right? Okay, he's going at a face down one. Uh, well, you could just use the Vice Proprietor to bow him. No, he is going at Vassal Fields. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, he, he does have plenty of money. I was just saying, like, or thinking, like, it might be better to go to face down right now when your opponent doesn't have a lot on the board. Make an opening. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, sure. I mean... Oh, this is kind of... Yeah, this is kind of awkward now. At least you didn't use the Vice Proprietor because then Fumiki would be able to bow it. Uh, so you are just going to have to take the win there. And your opponent doesn't discard a card because they played their conflict character with no fate, interestingly. I feel like Crane is not putting a lot of fate on characters, which seems a little bit strange when you have no cards in your hand. Um, okay, Quarter Deception got used. Good. Could have used the Illusionist to discard one of these honor status tokens, but I guess they're just going to honor again, so... Yeah, maybe. Um, we aren't seeing any of it here, really, though. We do see a Sami this turn. Probably going to see that get played. Bonding Diplomat. There's the third Vice Proprietor, putting a lot of fate on those uh, because the Court of Deception is here. Yeah, Sami is definitely a little bit scary for Scorpion. We'll see what he does about this. Like, you still have a bigger board. You probably just don't attack political unless you're sure that you can have more skill. Uh, 
Like, I think you should just go military air here. Or fire, maybe, but probably air. Water. Okay, water is interesting. Um... I guess this is fine. Mm, defense with just the duelist. I mean, you know your opponent is going to bid one, I guess, so you can just Kukita Dojo to bow somebody here. That does mean that you're not going to get to use Kuda and Kikita this round, probably. Uh, but, again, Scorpion has a million cards in hand, so I feel like he probably has something that can um, he could even just uh, do the Gensato duel. Whoa! He bonsaied and spent an honor. That seems wrong. Oh, right. He dojo dueled, so he can't do that. Good call. Yeah, I really don't like losing an honor there. Uh, we see Goblin Sneak, okay. Is he gonna go for the break? He still needs one more. So she illusionists, sure. Dazzling Duelists can just duel now though, right? Oh. Wait, he's not going to do it? Why didn't he do it? Yeah. Saving box? What is he saving box for? He, it would have to be a duel in hand, right? I mean, yeah, but he has one card is the problem. Maybe he has a duel in hand. Like, I guess if he has a policy debate, it makes sense. We haven't seen a restricted card yet, have we? Okay, so... I mean, Scorpion does get the break, but it costs him an honor, which is... not ideal. If you deny claim... no, you don't also deny ring resolving. Um... Which is why that uh, Phoenix province that's like reverse pilgrimage is really bad. Brittle Fields draws a card. Uh, we see a Spies at Court, so that's kind of funny. Spies at Court to just discard one card, which is a for shame. Um, but it also lets him dishonor a character which turns on his box, and then you can just get rid of the Dishonor token, so that was actually a good Spies. And now we're going to see, what, Fire? Yeah, it's got to be Fire. So he's just throwing everybody in there uh, to make sure his opponent will not be able to have more skill. He finds Fertile Fields, which means Grain gets a card. I'm a little bit surprised we see both characters defending here. Let's see if this card is anything. Guess not. Like, I kind of would have liked to see the Asami just not defend there so that you could get an unopposed. Probably Earth. Maybe Void. Like, the important thing is that you bring him down to one honor, right? Oh, did, a, did an honored character leave play? Okay, Fawning Diplomat got honored by the firing. Oh, Master Whisperer is quite good in low bid games.
going to see one of those with two fate. Uh, there's another Masterpiece Painter that's good to see as well. And a Caravan Guard. So Scorpion is on the Stronghold this turn. Yeah, like you didn't gain anything from having the Asami in there, right? Uh, I guess maybe he was hoping he drew a specific card but didn't draw it. But yeah, I would have just left that at home to get the extra attack. So, you gotta defend your stronghold. Uh, we've seen earth, air, fire. So probably um, shameful and water. So like, I don't know, rally or rebels? Probably rally. Either way, I don't think it helps you a whole lot here. And Scorpion has a ton of characters. Um, yeah, so Crane gonna pass first conflict. Looks like we're gonna see military fire. Oh, it is rebels, okay. Uh, so this will bow, okay, sure. You don't have a whole lot of military, so I guess that makes sense. No, Painter's 3, yep. Firing and a Dishonor Asami. Okay, so he still wins the ring. Um, Miyako, okay. Going to dishonor Goblin Sneak. Oh, is it a non scorpion character? A non unique character. Why didn't he dishonor a proprietor? I guess it didn't matter anyway, because he had Court of Deception, but. I think it should have been a proprietor there. Not useful to stand with KB. Yeah, I guess that's true. Uh, we see a Miyako on the other side to dishonor the Whisper. Okay. And uh, concede. All right. <laughs> yeah, definitely um, a little bit tough there for Crane not having any cards. Um, yeah, I mean, Scorpion was just going to break the stronghold, right? Like, that's too much force. Defending with Asami. I don't know if that lost the game, but it was definitely a mistake. Yeah, Bidouin's strategy very dependent on spending well in Dynasty phase. <laughs> yeah, not too many Scorpions here, huh? Um, it would have also been nice, probably, if that favorable alliance didn't get discarded off the Earth Ring. Alright, let's see if... Uh, hold on. Let's see if that other game is still going. Nope, looks like it's done. Okay. Alright, I guess that's going to be it then. Uh, good game, congratulations to Scorpion, and thank you everyone for watching. See you guys next time.